What up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am here once again at Ocean Beach. I'm just setting up my rig, my boy over there, Peanut. So when it comes to like snaring crabs guys, you wanna use like a clip swivel because you know the waves can be really hectic. It can move your snare around, tangle your line all over the place. So when you're using the swivel, this clip swivel, it spins around. And that causes your line not to tangle. So keep that in mind guys. Boom, simple just like that. And when it comes to putting on a snare, it can be really, really easy. You don't need to tie it on, just clip it on guys. Just like that, boom. All right guys, so I'm always using anchovies because I found out that anchovies work better. And when like you're using anchovies, you want to use like a magic string. This string is like prevent the anchovies from like dissolving and spreading all over the place. So when you use anchovies, you wanna go ahead and grab like three of them and just wrap it up all around. So just like that. And just go ahead and wrap it up. It doesn't need to look pretty. As long as like it's all stuffed in the cage and you're all good. Boom, there you go. You just want to like stuff it in as tightly as possible. We got the anchovy stuffed in. Let's go ahead and give it a toss. Now, keep in mind that you want to like leave some hanging off the, the end. You know, give the crabs like a little sample before they get snared. Let's get it. First cast, here we go guys. If you guys watched my recent uploads, Remember what I told you? Wait for the tide to come in and then wait for it to go out. Over the waves, not against the waves. Now you want to wait for like five to 10 minutes. Or if you want to see my technique where like you can indicate a crab, check out my recent videos. I'm out here with Peanut. He already got one in a bucket. Got a couple of shakers too. You're feeling it too, huh? I do that too, bro. <laughs> People don't understand us when we do this, man. You can literally feel the crabs when you do this. You feel, yeah, you feel the tension, give it a swing, right? Nothing, huh? All right, so like I said, you know, when you just really throw it in, still check it because sometimes once you throw it in, uh, there's always a crab like, just sitting right under your snare so you know to indicate a grab just move your rod like a little bit to the right if it's tight then there's a crab but if it's slightly moving then then there's nothing and i think i have one i have one i definitely have one guys let's go ahead and swing away when you want to swing, make sure you walk forward as possible so that, you know, you can minimize the cranking so that you won't get tired, okay? Rod down, swing away. Ah, I missed them. So as you can see, there was a crab on there because my snares are set. So let's go ahead and try it again. I really got to maintenance my snare because look, it's not reloading on its own. Um, next time I come out here, I'll just go ahead and fix all of my snares. Been pulling in too, ma too many crabs, man. Come on. There you go. Casting away. Cast over the waves, not against the waves. Right there, peanut got one. Hell yeah. Just when I was about to walk away, you check the second rod. I am not wearing any waders, guys. I'm trying to avoid the water right now, but yeah. Man, 
pretty active. Nice. Hopefully he's a keeper. It's a small one, shake a shaker. Huh. Damn. Oh, that's a keeper, bro. All right, Peanut already got one. How long it took you? Five minutes. Five, Five minutes? Five. Damn. Third cast. Third <laughs> cast? Nice. Hopefully I get one today, man. Let's see what happens. A big old female. Big old female. Well, let's see what happens, man. I got one, guys. Got one. Keeper! Hell yeah. I bet you anything there's like two on there. Nah, I probably like a female. A big old female. It was like two. Woo, my arms are tired. Yeah, this is a keeper for sure. That's a keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. I knew it was a female. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Hey, this spot's pretty good. It doesn't move. Keeper? <laughs> Shahoo! Yeah, it doesn't move nowhere. Yeah, I'm using like the worst snare ever too. Yeah, what do you think good. about that? It's good. Past three quarters. Oh, five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Big enough. For sure. Gauge them out again or what? Y'all wanna see? Hey, y'all wanna see? Yeah. Barely. He's like, kidding. <laughs> oh, staying on it. <laughs> Cast him in. So, right now, the water condition is moving to the right. If the water's moving to the right, you wanna throw to the left, okay? I see some people like when the water's moving to the right, they throw to the right. And that's why they're like wondering, how come like I'm not catching anything? Over the waves, checking if I have a crab. So like I always put my thumb on the bottom and finger on top and I twist it. And if it's loose like that, there's nothing. But if I like twist it and it gets stuck right there, there's a crab on. That's why like I mentioned like one of my recent videos, always tighten your line. Also like you don't want your line loose because we do have like a lot of like people walking and you don't want them like tripping over your, your line. Peanut has one. Nice. Boys we've been looking for. Trying to get them boys, huh? You put your rod down like that? So it won't like too much bending, huh? A shark? <laughs> Everybody got their own technique. Oh, that is a big one. <laughs> Hey, they're out here, man. Shahoo! Oh, you got two. I think one is a keeper. Yeah, one is a keeper. I think two of them is a keeper. Double killer. Double killer. Oh man. This is what this this is what we were been pulling up like a couple days ago, just like that. Double. Playing mind tricks on us. Man, they're pretty active today. Uh, All females, too. Small. Small? Yeah. Uh, it's like a credit card size. Yeah. I'm gonna leave them, I'm gonna leave them right here so I can dig into the sand. So <laughs> it. Yeah. If we catch their ass again, I want it. They're both small, huh? Yeah. Hey, that was a double, though, at least. Double, <laughs> double, having some action. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull mine in, guys. Let's see what happens.
Yeah, he's on there. He's on there. He's definitely on there. Yeah. Walk forward. And then walk backwards. Got him. Yahoo! Yeah. What's up? Maybe it might be a shaker. It feels like a shaker. <laughs> oh, it's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper. Uh, five and a half and six. Yeah. Oh, you got one too. Shahoo! Woo! Both keepers, guys. Pull up at the same time. Double, double. Let's get it. <laughs> double, double, double down. We just multiply. Let's get it. Give this guy a measure real quick. Oh, look, he came off. Lucky. And it's keeper. That went far. I'm telling you guys, purchase one of these Ocean Master rods, Ocean Master Surf Rod. It works good. All right, so this one, I waited for 10 minutes, guys. Oh, it is tight as hell. Yeah, yeah, he's on there. He's on there, he's definitely on there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hell yeah. Keeper. Heavy. I gotta go slow, guys, because this is a stiff rod. It's like pulling in a rope. No flexibility, no nothing. So I can end up snapping my line. This is a pretty big one. It's huge. There he is, right there. He's a keeper for sure. Woo, keeper! Ha <laughs> It's a male too. Nice. See, this is why, like I tell you guys to put the clip. Because when you get a crab, you can go ahead and clip it off and pull out your snare, just like that. And you can leave your rod just right there. Boom, check it out. Let's go ahead and measure this bad boy right here. Possibly a seven incher. Oh yeah. He's a six, six and one four. Nice. nice one yeah, six inches. And it's that easy. Flip it back on. Make sure the clip is closed. Cast away. Let's get it, guys. Over the waves. Woo! <laughs> Holy cow! That's, that's a seven inch. I wanna see how big is it. Show the YouTubers how big the crab is, man. Well, that's a seven. Close. Close to a seven. Almost a seven. Almost inch. a seven. Yeah, six man. and a quarter. Only if they were all like that, huh? Only if they were all like that. <laughs> I kinda wanna go ahead and pull mine in right now. All right, so I'm just checking my rod and I'm pulling the line. It's kind of loose. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. There we go. Yeah, yeah, he's on there, he's on there. He's definitely on there, guys. I feel him. Ah, oh, I came off! Damn it. All right, so let's go ahead and cast it again.
Let's see. Let's see if Peanut got ones. Check out his technique though. Oh, right there, he got stuck right there. What is he doing? I think he sees a crab. He saw a crab? He got a crab in the water! Oh, he lost it! No way! There we go, there we go! <laughs> Woo! Shoo! Come on, you got him! Oh, damn, that's a keeper! That's a keeper! Woo! That's nice, bro! Almost got me, but I got his ass, <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> did, I just, did I just cast it? No. Huh? No, no, you just no, did. <laughs> wow, that's nice, bro. Got me, though. Man, that's like the first time I've seen someone pull out a keeper out of the water. Really? Usually they pull out shakers. For real? Let's see how big it is. Oh, man, that's a good six right there. Yep. Six? Exactly six. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six? Damn, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks like a keeper, bro. Oh, that's a keeper, bro. <laughs> Measure it. I was going to grab by the last last claw. Last claw, so they won't pinch you. Oh, uh, too small. Damn. Yeah. Still active though. Woo. That's heavy. Yep. Ah, oh, it's a shaker. Damn, that was a small ass one. <laughs> shaker, shaker. Yeah. Woo! Peanut got another one. He almost lost it. Gauge breaker. Holy cow! No way! Whoa! Dude, boy! Oh my god! Man! Holy Dude, almost cow! Lost him. Damn! This was about like um, probably eight inches. Eight inches right there. Measure it. Oh, that's a gauge breaker for sure. <laughs> that's a this, gauge guys? breaker for sure. Man, peanuts killing them. We got, got five already. Look at how much I got. Two. <laughs> and a bunch of garbage. That's a biggie. Nice peanut. That's what I'm gonna eat my wife tonight for our anniversary, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, wish, wish peanut a happy anniversary, guys. 16 years going on 17. 16 years going on 17. Years yep. Shazzy. Love my queen. Thanks for everything you do for us, baby. Yeah. All right, guys. So I am going inside the water right now and I have no waiters. Let me show you guys how dedicated I am. My boy is out there at the island and he got a double. I'm loving it. I am wet. I am cold, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Walking in the water. Nice. Where you catch that? Oh, no, it's a small one. It's a shaker. It came off all the time. Damn. Little baby girl. There we go. Shake her. I am knee high now. Feels good. Nothing kills my mood. Rainy day, sunny day, windy day. It don't matter. Always gotta keep a positive vibe. Okay, guys? Positive vibe. Guess the way. Let's see what happened. Oh, that's a keeper. Keeper. Hell yeah. Damn, guys, peanut is on fire. Professional. <laughs> Professional. Oh. Oh. Damn, they're all shakers, huh? 
Did I tell you guys a story one time when I was at the beach? I was wearing waders and your boy almost drowned. So I was like fishing just like this. I turned my back on the waves, right? And I was wearing waders. And then the waves literally like was like on top of my head, guys. It literally took me in. If, you know, if I was like at a rip current, I'll probably, you know, end up dying. That water would have took me in. So lucky that, you know, I was reading my waters. Lucky, like, you know, I know like to go at a good location. So I, I was saved. The ocean didn't even take me. The ocean actually pushed me back in. So thank God for that. So please guys, keep that in mind, man. If you have waders on, you know, don't test yourself, you know, like, oh, I got waders on, let's go deeper. Don't do it, okay? Because, you know, you're, you're out here to have fun. You know, you never know, today might be your last day, okay? So be careful when it comes to surf crabbing.